hello everybody and welcome back with another video today it's a weekly update video for modern warfare 3 and today we have here the week 3 challenges for a new underbarrel part the jack slash now before we go into all of these channels if you guys are new make sure you smash that like button hit that subscribe button if you are new and let's get into these challenges so moving on to the multiplayer side of things for these challenges you gotta get get 25 operator hit fire kills next get 20 operator kills with silenced weapons or throwing knives get 10 kill operator kills with battle rifles get 15 operator kills with covert sneakers equipped or dead silence active Get 30 operator kills shortly after sprinting with SMGs. Get 10 operator kills with a gun butt of a weapon. Get 8 operator kills with an underbarrel lethal attachment equipped to a weapon. So this can be either done in, this can be easily done in team deathmatch or any multiplayer mode of your choice as long as you have some of these things equipped like covert sneakers or dead silence or a lethal attachment equipped to your weapon now moving on to zombies get 100 point blank kills with a weapon get 50 kills with silenced weapons or throwing knives get 100 hit fire kills with battle rifles or with any battle rifle of your choice get 30 mercenary kills with a marksman rifle get 300 critical kills with a SMG next get 75 kills with a gun butt of a weapon so it might be it's gonna be easy if, if you're doing it correctly <laughs> um, get tw uh, get 250 kills with a pack-a-punch weapon easy peasy and it can be done in all in one game hopefully you can get it all in one game or some of these challenges all in one game or two games so moving on to battle royale four of these challenges you gotta kill 15 to 10 operators in each section of the map in Urzikstan now the last three challenges place in top seven ten times or place top ten and seven times and in warzone complete 15 contracts in any mode if it will be in superstore resurgence regular resurgence battle royale and any mode in warzone so i don't think warzone bootcamp camp but you can try that out um, in Warzone open 75 loot crates. So this is gonna be this will be easy in any mode in Warzone So now we're gonna go test out the jack slash aftermarket part in the shooting range Here we have it with the jack slash underbarrel part for week 3 on the RPK aftermarket part and It's just a regular underbarrel. I don't know why they gotta put an underbarrel on. I get th think it's just a feeler, a filler for this this week since they have a whole bunch of other cooler stuff that they could add, and it's kind of nice just to um, see another stupid useless part in this game that nobody will hardly use. But if you guys want to use this on any other weapon. It can be used for assault rifles, battle rifles, SMGs, shotguns, LMGs, marksman rifles, and sniper rifles. It cannot be used for melee weapons. These are the only classes that you're allowed to put the attachment on that are in the main category, your primary weapon, I should say. Now, move over to our next thing. Now our next thing is the conquest event that just went live today 
and if you complete all six challenges you can get the locked and lucky blueprint it's a pretty nice looking blueprint it's going on the black and gold theme like black cell has it so let's go over these six challenges for the first calling card holographic violence challenges in multiplayer get kills crossfires and wins and free for all to progress this challenge in warzone deploy redeploy drone beacons rdb and zombies kill mercs get convoy key cards loot merc camps or open stronghold saves to progress this challenge now for our emblem inside the net emblem for the challenges get kills assists and and wins in team deathmatch to progress this challenge warzone obtained cards from biometric scanners and in zombies kill manglers mimics disciples or hellhounds in a yellow zone to progress this challenge you might have to do this a couple of times or just do it one time just just add this to your track and see what works and see what doesn't work now for a large decal don't be afraid of the dark for multiplayer for multiplayer get kills assists objectives and wins in domination to progress this challenge in warzone complete scavenger contracts so you might have to complete one or two or five or in zombies kill kill zombies in a red zone to progress this challenge so you gotta go in the in zone three and kill zombies in there to get the tier skid battle pass token you gotta get kills assist objectives and wins and kill confirmed to progress this challenge from multiplayer in warzone activate uav towers and in zombies complete five contracts or exfil or complete at least one contract in all difficulty regions and exfil without being down to progress this challenge so you can either complete at least five contracts or complete a contract in all difficulty regions and you gotta actually go without being down at all and then it will complete this challenge for the battle pass tier skip now moving on to the next for the weapon charm death match uh, get kills assist objectives and wins in hardpoint to progress this challenge in warzone buy loadout drops in buy stations or in zombies expo with any ethereum crystal or aether tool or use packer punch to progress this challenge so spawning you can't use your crystal um, you have to go to the you have to go to the packer punch machine and packer punch or get or do some contracts to get an ethereum crystal or aether tool to expo with to complete this challenge now move on to the weapon sticker for multiplayer get get finishing moves assist downs and wins in the slam deathmatch mode to progress this challenge so all you have to do is go into multiplayer hit that slam deathmatch playlist and do all those things i had asked in warzone train legendary wo uh, weapons at weapon trade stations in warzone and zombies get kills with handguns or smgs or melee weapon to progress this challenge um so it's unknown how many kills you gotta do for this um i would say go ahead and track it so once you track all six of these and see what works best for you once you complete all six you'll get the locked and lucky blueprint so that's the that's the end of the today's video and let me know you guys let me let me know what you guys think of this week three aftermarket par or the jack slash under barrel and let me know what you guys think thank you guys for so much for watching this video and stay tuned for more for our next video that we have planned for next week
or in 13 days if, if you guys like these videos let me know down in the comment section below and we can I can probably hit you guys a couple more and all things considered so yes thank you guys for watching and making sure you guys can watch these videos and so forth so yes thank you guys for so much for watching now I'll log off see you next time in the next video